Previously on The Truth. So currently reporting from the floor. I'm gonna take you guys to go and get my camera. But first of all, the way in. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. Feel the machine. Ooh, look, at, look at the machine. Look at the machine logo. Oh, that, that's sexy right there. guys so it is Saturday and um, my back's feeling a lot better still a little bit tight so I'm gonna see what I can do at the gym today um, it's chest and back so I'm just gonna make sure I get a good warm-up um, yeah, and basically just see what what I can do yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm gonna make sure I do a lot of rotated cuff exercises like the last time when um, my back seized up a little bit. A lot of foam rolling before. Um, and then a lot of foam rolling and rotated cuff exercises. Just to make sure the area is loose. Yeah, it needs, it needs to kind of fix up pretty soon. Yeah, I was gonna go to Metroflex. But that's like all the way that way. So I'm just gonna go to Easy Gym. Cause that's just there. So, um, yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, stupid, unless I feel 100%. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll see where I get to the gym. Hey guys, kicked it off with overhand grip bent over rows. Um, started off just really light, uh, 20 plate each side, 45 each side, and um, just got a nice warm up. Did about two sets to really warm up, and then put a 25 kilo on top of that. Just kept increasing the weight just to kind of feel it out and see whether my back twinged at any point which it didn't so I just kept going heavier so it ended up I think this is 160 kilos I'll put what it is in pounds on the screen because I can't even bother to get my calculator out and then onto floor press um, I was feeling quite strong in this and went up to 130 kilos <laughs> funny thing is check these guys in the background on the squatting well knee spasming I'm recording I actually did commentary during this session because I didn't want to do like overlay commentary whilst I'm doing the commentary halfway through he's tapping me on the shoulder he can see I'm holding a camera and I was just like flipping oh dude there's no chill whatsoever it's like at least wait for me to finish but I was, I was quite happy with this. Look how look how strong this looks. Yeah. Yeah, not bad for three weeks out. But yeah, that dude just really, really got to me. I was just like, like tapping on me, tapping my shoulder. And then in the end, I was like, what? Messed up the whole commentary. And then he was like, oh, how many sets have you got left? I was like, seriously, you couldn't wait for me to just put down the camera, let me finish my thing, and then ask me. Ugh. Anyway ran over onto incline bench press this is only a slight incline I think this is about 30 degree incline I feel it hits my upper chest a little bit better and there's like kind of like a middle strand that I'm trying to target I know you can't target certain parts of the chest but I'm just working with all angles and I was using 50 kilo dumbbells on that one so I'm still feeling quite strong still hit 8 reps on it and this workout was kind of like a back chest superset um, alternate type of workout. So I did one chest exercise and one back exercise and a chest exercise then a back exercise. You get what I mean. 
But yeah, felt very, very strong, very strong. And those, those machine fitness straps, they look good. Remember, there's a link in the description if you want to get yourself a pair and you want a discount. Yeah, on this one, I was really focusing on stretching the lap and squeezing. Uh, this, this was a little bit awkward. I had to call someone afterwards to actually put it into my hand because I couldn't be bothered to keep doing that. But, um, these were floor flies. And again, still strong on these. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think for the Arnold's, I was doing 45s for six, and this was 42 and a half. And I think I got eight to ten. I think for like three sets. So I'm stronger. My chest has developed more. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And majority of it is just switching up the type of um, exercises I'm doing. So I'm thinking of doing a chest development style series if you guys want to see that let me know in the comment section and I will start planning with my film guys to get a proper series done for you guys but after every session practice my posing check my condition I'm quite pleased in ch look chest is looking full and it's surprising because I've had no carbs <laughs> anyway enjoy the rest of the video all right guys so just left the gym heading home and that was a good session really good session I'm happy with that um, back's not aching of course I'm not gonna take that as you're healed be gone with you I'm gonna still foam roll get the golf ball and tennis ball in my back um, into my um, shoulder blades and just work the area a little bit and loosen it up make sure it's constantly loose and it doesn't tighten up again so all in all managed to train chest and back didn't get any tightness didn't feel it seizing up and now just to put some heat treatment and massage basically today though um, I don't tend to have days off like from work I'm always doing updates or something or new plans or inquiries or something something or working on the new projects and stuff like that so um i think it, it's you know you need to have you know all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so my playtime is normally the gym that's my escape zone but then you know now I've, I've got a wife i've got a kid coming so i need to make family time so today is one of those days that I'm going to answer my emails. I did a lot of my work yesterday, got it out of the way. So today is purely family time. Um, we're going to just chill out. Me and Aisha, um, my, it's my cheat meal tonight. So we're going to go out to Five Guys at the London O2 and then catch a movie there. So um, yeah, should be a good day. I'm going to take you along on the little bits that I'll be doing. Hopefully you won't see me pulling out my laptop to do work, so, <laughs> um, yeah, family time, family day, bring it on. Uh, I'm about to go and get breakfast, it's like 10 o'clock now, woke up a little bit late and um, just to make sure I was fully limber, I took about half an hour foam rolling and then another 10-15 minutes of um, rotator cuff work before I started the workout. So the workout took a bit longer than usual. Heading to Tesco Express now to get some chicken breast. Um, Cause I run out of my muscle food one and I need to make a new order. Um, if you are interested, their style is pretty damn cheap, like affordable. Um, plus with my discount code in the link below, you can get an extra discount. So check that out. I'm gonna get my food and then I'm going to have breakfast. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I decided enough is enough. I need to get this beard shaped. I need to get this raggedy hair cut. So I'm gonna head to the barbers now <laughs> as I go into the car. I don't, I don't know, I feel like I need a four by four, like a Range Rover or something. Look what I literally did getting out of the car. All right, you're probably wondering, how did I do that? Anymore. 
as I was getting out, I managed to put my elbow into it. And that's what I managed to salvage. Like literally the whole thing just crumbled. So, <sighs> anyway. Soon come, soon come. So yeah. You have to work with your with the means, your current means, not overextend your hand, if you know what I mean, but yeah man, I'm a bit <laughs> this is mash oh jeez. <laughs> oh mash up. Ah anyway. Enough of this. I'm gonna I guess I have no directional fan anymore. But yeah, that's that's completely messed. Anywho, off to the barbers. I'm still debating whether to trim this down. We'll see you at the barbers. So I'll see you after I've got my hair cut and it will look clean. Yeah. Alright, so dropped a little periscope to see what everyone thought whether to go for like keep growing it or trim it down. And the verdict was trim it down and make it look clean. So that's all I've done. So yeah, it's my barbers right here. Let me zoom in on that shit. And it's in Norwood Junction, like literally right by the station. So if any of you guys want a decent barber, come and check them out. Ask for a Chucky. All right, but um, yeah, time to go home. Time to get some food and chill. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, so. My laptop is on, but I'm not doing work. I'm just, um, I want to catch up on um, a few YouTubers. Sometimes when you're doing videos and editing videos, um, it's hard to keep up with, with what other YouTubers are doing. So whilst I do my cardio, I normally catch up on Christian Guzman's videos. Um, and Goody Beats. I really like Goody Beats videos. Check out, I'll put his um, link to, I was gonna say link to the description. His link to his channel in the description. Oh, diet brain, diet brain. But yeah, really like his channel. And he's a good guy. He's a good friend of mine. But um, yeah, just seeing if he's got any other new uploads. 100 chicken nugget challenge. Yeah, go on Goody Beats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check this one out. Goody Beats. Alright, so whilst um, now she's just getting dressed and stuff, she was doing her hair and that kind of stuff. So, um, gonna catch up with a few YouTubers and then um, grab some food and then later on, I'm gonna head to the O2. So, see you in a bit. So <clears throat> we decided not to go to Five Guys and I was not really feeling um not not like not feeling good but she's just feeling uncomfortable, you know, baby stuff. So um we're gonna get some food, have it here, and then um just go to the cinema later to watch Insidious. Which actually looks pretty scary. The first one I laughed through and every time I watch it again and again and again it seems to get that little bit creepier but um, <laughs> we're gonna see Insidious I think it's three which be good and so we're gonna head to Tesco grab some Krispy Kreme mm. and then I'm gonna grab a burger and chips half pounder double cheese large fries all right so um, yeah See you in a sec. Okay, so in Tesco, um, very, 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 very tempted to get the 12 box of Krispy Kremes, but three weeks out from a show, that would be stupid. So, just got the little box of three. 
Um, and I actually bought some fruit and her ice cream. And now we're looking for her apple or cherry pie. I don't know. You're going for apple or cherry? <laughs> yeah, well, whilst we're at the checkout, I'm gonna call up um, Aussies and order the burgers so they're ready for them to get them. I will see you when we get home. Alright, so we just got back from Aussies fish and chip shop, and we have both got quarter pounds. Well, I got a half pound of double cheese and chips. And I got some, I put some extra, extra cheese in there. No, she got the same. Well, she got quarter pounder. Hello, baby. All right, so just about to eat. I've got my Krispy Kremes in the kitchen and I've just got a sugar-free lemonade. Lemon and limeade. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then it's on to the Krispy Kremes. All right, so just finish off the last few bits. It's good. Seems like everyone's doing this 10,000 calorie challenge thing. I haven't been able to do it because I'm always competing in something. But, I wanna set a date in July. So after the Grand Prix, I'm gonna do 10K challenge or similar. So, um, keep you posted on that one. Burger and chips demolished. Very tasty. That's not my Maltesers box, by the way. That's not uh, issues. <laughs> yeah, the the plan to go cinema. Um, yeah, it's kind of gone to pot as well. So the little one is. Yeah, how you feel now? Welcome to your meeting group. Yeah. But it's cool. We'll go um, next weekend or something like that. So we're going to see what movies are on TV or on Netflix. And yeah, just chill. Watch a couple of episodes of Orange is a New Black. That's good. If you haven't seen it, Go back on Netflix, find season one and two, catch up, and then start season three. It's good. It's very good. Um, yeah, Krispy Kreme's time. You're gonna have your dessert. Yeah, Cookies and cream ice cream with um, chocolate something pot things. Yeah, Krispy Kreme's for me. Alright, so I just got a box of three there was like a lemon cheesecake one there was a salted caramel cheesecake let's get that focus and then a standard ring donut and another can of um, zero Zero lemon and lime aid. Yeah, very tasty. I want to see what this salted caramel one tastes like. Because there's like a co op across the street from us. And they've, every time I go in there to get something, they've got um, salted caramel cake. And I keep looking at it and it's hard to resist sometimes. That's good. That's good. I like that. 
but um, crap put multi task in, and I want to eat. So, um, yeah, bye. Always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life.